Hi, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to explain the three main elements of Page Builder plugin rows, columns, and widgets. All your pages will be created using these three elements. For the demonstration, I'm going to add a new landing page, set a title. The rows can be added using this add new row button. The options which a row have are row height in pixels, number of columns. A row can have minimum one column and maximum eight columns. Background image for your row and background color for your row. Save the row. By editing a row, you will have access to by editing a row, you will have access to some more options like row background video, custom CSS, custom JS, margin, and padding. You can delete a row, duplicate it, or move it using this button here. Now let's have a look at columns. You can edit a column using this button on the corner and you can add more columns by editing a row and increasing the number of columns. You can have minimum one column and maximum eight columns. So these are eight columns I have added in this single row. You can edit each column using this edit button. And the column have our background color, column width. In uh, column width, it is in percentage, margin and padding both in percentage. Now let's talk about widgets. To add a widget, click on the edit column button then add widget area. By default the HTML editor is selected but you can drag and drop any other widget to select it. The HTML editor is what you see is what you get editor and at the left side you will have the widget specific options and on the right side widget <coughs> widget options which are general which will be same for all the widgets the first option we have is background color for the widget area and the second option we have is widget animation you can add animations to your widgets. The second one is the margin, and the margin is in percentage. And the third one is, and the fourth one actually is custom CSS. Save the widget, and it will appear just like that. You can also delete, duplicate, and move a widget by using this drag and drop handle see this how easy this could get now let's save this page and then visit it. See the visual editor shows exactly how the page will look on the front end. 
if you like this plugin please comment below and you can find the download links in the description thank you